You are working. Uh, Caleb, it's Christmas Eve. And you're alone. Well, I called Asher, but no answer. Well, did you leave a message? I asked him to call me at his convenience to see if we could find some resolution to the hostility. Caleb, the courts are closed tonight. Stop fighting the case of Cortland versus Pike and the Christmas spirit. You can't win that way. You know, I could never sleep on Christmas Eve as a kid, and I still can't. Stay up with me. Father Clarence, you're here. I'm having a bit of car trouble. <laughs> the old jalopy stalled out at the bottom of your drive. Car trouble? Oh, please, come in, come in. <laughs> That's what happened to me and Zach last Christmas, remember? We, we got stuck in that terrible snowstorm on, on the way back to Pine Valley, and we found your chapel. Oh, yes. Mm. You reminded us how important we were to each other. You knew I needed help. That's why you came here. You've suffered a terrible loss. Yes, I have. Tonight is the night for miracles. And I need my miracle now. Wow, who did you come on in? Greenlee is uh, out doing some last minute shopping, I guess, but she should be home soon. Madison. Madison, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Wake up. Madison, oh, wait. wake up. Okay, there's no way that I can carry you. Great. Where? We were in the park. We were in the park. You must have slipped on the ice or something. Oh, my God. My baby. I can't lose my baby. Okay, just stay calm. Stay calm. Stop. Get away from me. Somebody help my baby. I'm trying to help you. You could be hurt. I don't want your help. Okay, listen. Go away. Listen, we may not be friends, but you're crazy if you think I'm going to leave you here. I'm taking you to the hospital. Does it hurt anywhere? My head. Okay. Well, you're not bleeding, okay? So, get up with me. Very slowly. Very slowly, slowly, slowly. God, please. Okay. Baby, be okay. okay. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. Resolution to the hostility? Did you really say that? To your own son? We just... Um... We just don't click. Well, Asher knows you're trying. He hates me for walking out on him when he was born. Look, I, I know that it may seem to you like he wants to hurt you, but maybe he just wants you to prove to him that you want him in your life. Maybe he even wants you to fight for him. I know. I lived it. Can you help me? Can you stop this nightmare and make everything right again? Your husband's passing is a tragedy. 
I wish. No, 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 no. This, this was all to show me how important Zack is. And it has. I will never take anything with him for granted ever again. Just get him home. He missed Thanksgiving. And, and he missed Spike's play. He would want to be here tomorrow to open the presents with the boys. Please. Please, Father Clarence, I know you can do this. You've, you've always helped us, me and, and Bianca and Zach. You, you've always come through for us. You've been, helped us find our way when we were lost. I am so lost without my husband. A priest can only do so much. I counsel people. I talk to them when they're troubled. Once in a while, it helps if they listen to their own hearts. My heart is screaming for Zach. You loved him very much. I still love him. I will always love him. I forced him to help Ryan and Greenlee, and now... How is Greenlee? I don't want to talk about her, and I don't want to be her friend. I want more time with Zach. Unfortunately... We have no control over that. But I'm not ready to say goodbye. I, I can't let him go. You will always stay connected with Zack. Through the love you've shared, your memories, your children. That's what everyone keeps telling me, and I don't want to hear that. But, but, but don't listen to me. Listen to Zack. His message. What message? What are you talking about? Here? Is this the message? Father Clarence? Father Clarence? And then there's Fusion. You and Greenlee put so much into that place. At first, I didn't get it. Can you really care that much about lipstick? But then I realized fusion is much more than a business for you two. It's where you get your bearings. Recharge, refocus. It's your fortress, your safe haven. It's where you find your way again. I was very young when Kendall was born. Just uh, 14. As I, I told you, I had been raped. But uh, what you don't know is that that's when Kendall was conceived. So, much like your son, Kendall came to town to look for me to, to seek revenge, to destroy the mother that she believed had just callously just walked away from her, just abandoned her. Well, the truth is always more complicated, isn't it? Yes. But you know, at the heart of it, it's really all quite simple. I don't even know what my son eats for breakfast. How is that simple? He doesn't know what you eat for breakfast either. So I think you're both suffering equally. I'm not downplaying the painfulness, believe me. Some of it never went away. And now? Well, now, I mean, it's taken a lot of work, but I've, I've come to terms with the rape. Well, come to terms. Uh, the main thing is that I have embraced Kendall. 
And if somebody back then who had been through a mess of their own had just thrown cold water on Kendall and me. So you're saying I'd just need to be doused with a bucket of water? Mm -hmm. No, I think that you've done enough. And sharing your story with me about your son, that just makes me want to hold on to Kendall tighter, just makes me want to protect her from, from everything. You're a pretty amazing woman. Why don't you go home, Dorothy? Go be with Kendall. And what about you? I'm good. Merry Christmas. Yeah, I don't really do the whole Christmas thing. Well, I do the whole Christmas thing, so open it. <laughs> you insist? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, uh, you know, they're gray. You wear a lot of gray. That it, it would look good on you. They fit? Yeah. <laughs> Super perfect. Oh, and uh, check this out. It's from my dad. It's a credit card gift certificate. Big bucks to spend wherever I want. Are we talking like sports car money or? No. I mean, I, I would rather have my dad, though. Well, I'd rather have the cash. Uh, no. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> what about you, your dad? Are you gonna see Caleb over the holidays? Well, he called me, but I haven't called him back. Why not? I just don't care about the guy, you know? Yes, you do. <sighs> Hello? Oh, hi, Opal. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. All right. Bye. <sighs> well, uh, I gotta go to the hospital. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, Opal, she's volunteering down at the hospital with patients who don't have families around for the holidays. She's the only one there, so... I, I said I would help. Um, Asher. Call your dad back. wants to get married, you know, but by the time she picks out a dress and a caterer and music and you get the idea. I mean, is that going to be possible? Isn't it? I mean, isn't she likely going to be on trial? Absolutely not. Liza doesn't have a case, and Caleb and I will prove that. Well, Greenlee and I should have been married two years ago, and we lost a lot of time, but we're not losing anymore. <laughs> 